The real truth of the matter is that there's a sexiness of Broadway and bringing in Tarasenko and bringing in Kane and having Shesterkin and Adam Fox and get the puck to Panarin and Mika Zibanejad. And all that's great, and it is. But the devils are deep. They're deep with Heischer, who's probably the straw that stirs the drink. That insulates Hughes in a good spot. They played Timo Meyer on the third line. They, they even rested Graves and Marino. Like, how did they get Marino? Who would give away Marino? If you give away Marino, you probably lose. That'll be a topic for another day. They're, they're deep. And yeah, on paper, Vitek Vanacek, he isn't as good as the guy at the other end. But how can people forget that you don't have to be as good? You just have to not let in the stinker. You, you, you know, look what the Avs did last year with Darcy Kemper. You know, we've seen Michael Layton and Antti Ranta go on play. Antti Ranta, people don't know that he won a Stanley Cup, right? When you talk about, uh, or I, 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 Niami, sorry. Uh, Niami won a Stanley Cup for Chicago. Michael Layton was playing. It's the team. We sometimes overrate the goalies and underrate the team defenses. So I like the Devils. It feels like Devils in six. Rangers have the sexiness. Will the Devils be scared on the Broadway stage? Ooh, well, they weren't when they played them this year. I think the series is exciting. I think it's going to give us everything we want. And I think at the end of the day, where will the Rangers then go from here after they kind of have gone for it the last two years? Because the Devils, they've got the younger players. They've got players under contract. They're going to be around for a while. They built this thing up, Tom Fitzgerald, nicely. And they put themselves, Craig, in a very good spot. When you are this good five on five, you don't have to worry about your power play bailing you out that's what's the sexiness for me about the speed doesn't slump craig speed doesn't slump great i mean there's the money quote right there speed doesn't slump you know you look at teams and you go into the trade deadline you have to assess your team for exactly what will make you stronger and like there's no way that anybody's going to sit down and say that patrick kane is i mean he's a hall of famer and tarasenko is a really good top player I don't think their additions made them stronger in the areas they were needed to be stronger in. 